So now we'll talk about how to change Matplotlib plot's style, or let's say background or theme. So in order to do so, first of all, we should import the Matplotlib package. So we import matplotlib.pyplot as a PLT, that's it. And now suppose that we want to define some values, some data, for example, one, two, three, four, X, and for example, two, one, and five for the Y variable. And now let's plot this. So you want to plot X and Y, and let's show the chart. So if I run a code, you can see here's the result. So in order to change the Matplotlib plot's style, or let's say theme, first of all, let's print all of the backgrounds or styles available in Matplotlib. So in order to do so, we want to print all of the available styles. So we simply type plt dot style dot available. It means all of the styles which are available. And now let's cut all of these lines. So if I run a code, you can see here is a list of different styles available in Matplotlib. So for example, suppose that I want to, for example, choose this one, dark background, for our style. So in order to do so, before plotting our chart, before plotting our chart, we can simply type plt that style that use and we should pass at the name of our style you can see this is the name so i copy that and i paste it here so once again if i run a code you can see here's uh, the chart and you can see the theme or let's say the style has been changed and also if you want to try different styles and see which one is better you can do that as well so we can use a for loop so we can simply tap for every style and plt dot style dot available i mean uh, for every style in the available styles in matplotlib we want to plot the chart using that as tile so that's it so if i run a code you can see this is the first theme this is the second theme and so on but maybe you want to put the name of that as tile in the figure name so in order to do so that's very easy we can do that as well so here we can simply type plt that figure and for the name of our figure we want to pass a style and if i run the code again you can see this is the name of our style and that's it so you can see we have different themes and you can see the name is written in the figure now i really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now